If you have Gene Key 17 in your chart or seek the healing powers of Gene Key 17, then you have entered into the gate, an archetype of the discoverer. And you may have been a victim of your opinion or others' opinions, a victim of your own self-criticism, lack of self-forgiveness, and really holding on to your opinions as if they are the only truth. The discoverer is very unique in its path, unlike the idealist who uses their imagination, which seems to be a combination of our emotions and our visionaries abilities. The discoverer uses logic. The discoverer flies high and sees all of the patterns, looking for problems within the ebbs and flows of these patterns. It is by this logic that the discoverer can understand truths, validity, and seeks to improve wherever there is falsehood. The discoverer needs to be much more lighthearted. It also is one that is close to being fun and not taking things too seriously. When in the shadow of opinion, the discoverer loses its lightheartedness and becomes very much attached to its opinion. It loses and disconnects from other people's points of views. In its gift, the discoverer embraces its opinion and knowing that it does have an opinion, but its opinion isn't the only one. This helps us to see from the eye, which is the path of the discoverer. From the eye, we can see ourselves and others. We are in the gift of farsightedness. We actually connect to others through the heart and through the eyes. So there's more of this unity and connection to humanity in the gift of farsightedness. To be able to stay in the same room and have differences of opinion, but still treat each other with humanity is part of this path of logic that the discoverer is seeking to find. In its highest state, omniscience, it truly doesn't make too many mistakes. It's as if anything it says, does, or has an opinion of is actually welcomed because the energy isn't too attached to its opinion. The energy is farsighted. So now anything that you say or think, even in its falsehoods or in its validities, becomes something that people will welcome in, that people will debate over, and people will find lightheartedness through the path of the discoverer. The internal motivation for the discoverer is to find the patterns that lead to solutions. And there is this Achilles heel that quite often happens where their anxiety over detail actually takes them off of this seeking for the patterns. They can get distracted because there's so much to see. There's also this time distortion that can happen. So it's really about focus. It's really about logic because when it gets into its Achilles heel, it's kind of more in its fear state than in its logic state. And logic is the key to this archetype soaring. When it leans into its curiosity, it's very youthful and doesn't attach to strong points of views. The shadow of opinion is described as the closing of the third eye on unlockyourdesign.com. It states your opinions sprout from seeds planted at some point within your first seven years. And I think this leads to the concept that opinions are opinions of itself, while reigning very true to us, right, can also be kind of impulsive and infantile. Then they can be quite juvenile because they're coming from certain fears and experiences we had when we were younger that shaped our points of views. 
So it's not about rejecting the opinion, but it's, it's really having compassion for yourself to understand why it was formed and then to also understand why other people's opinions are formed, especially in the stronger points of views, the ones where people will go to war over their opinions. In unlocking this connection to the heart and the eyes, one is able to connect to humanity and tame the thunder. In this, it's called the lake over thunder. The gift here described on unlockyourdesign.com is farsightedness, and this is described as precognition via the heart. Farsightedness can be said to arise directly out of the heart rather than from the mind. In the highest state of transmutation, right, um, is the city, the, the highest uh, state of frequency, omniscience, which really is the all-seeing eye. Whatever you decide is absolutely correct and in full harmony with all that is. Because you're a your point of view matters. It absolutely matters. So this is a really beautiful gene key that is also part of the seven sacred seals. And it has to do with some of the major wounds of humanity. This is a very powerful gene key that when transcended can truly help create a huge wave of healing for many around it.